Here's up YouTube today I'm gonna be doing the deadlifts and uh, today I'm assigned two sets of five with one set of six with 345 pounds that is technically a PR but not really because I'm beltless I don't know how long I'm gonna continue this beltless work uh, I might continue it for at least until I reach probably 500 pounds beltless and then move on to with a belt just to to get heavier weights in my hand I don't know, it feels really good to train beltless. I think it'll help rehab a lot of people's back if they were to train beltless. Because I noticed that if a lot of people don't train their core, they're weak without a belt. But if you were to train uh, without a belt, then uh, and you train often, you line the weight a little bit, uh, then you'll be able to strengthen your core, uh, rehab your back a little bit, and try to perfect your form without a belt, which is a good thing. And... Uh, yeah, I think you can build overall strength, overall grip in the deadlifts, even though the belt doesn't have to do anything with grip. But the weights will feel heavier without a belt. But since your core is getting thicker and your abs are getting bigger, because that's what you're working a lot, like your abs are heavily taxed when you're working without a belt, your core, then uh, when you put a belt on, you're going to be even stronger, probably, six, uh, probably 40 to 60 pounds stronger than in without a belt deadlift which is I think it uh, will benefit a lot of people but that's just me that's what I've been doing and it's helped a lot I think right now my deadlift could be at 500 with about 500 something pound I don't even know yet and uh, yeah I'll see you guys in the next clip which is gonna be me deadlifting 345 pounds and uh, yeah before before I go to the next clip, I want you guys to comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget that. I want you to comment down below. Subscribe if you like it and like it if you like it. You know, and uh, yeah, see you in the next clip. I just finished my uh, deadlift sessions. I'm a heel belly right now. No, I'm just joking. I just finished my deadlift session, and uh, uh, at the beginning it was easy. Like the first two sets, no, the first set was kind of hard. Well, well, for me in the video it might be kind of easy because I always say that because uh, for me it's always hard in the first set, and then the second set is still kind. It, it gets I get warmer and warmer. Then the third set is when it gets really easy. And uh, yeah, today was it was I was. Today I made progress. Today was really good. I felt really good. I don't even feel fatigued or anything. It's the second week. Of course, you're not going to feel fatigued in the second week and stuff like that. 
Look, I'm spinning, yay! No, I'm just saying. And uh, the other day I was feeling really explosive in the warm ups. It felt light, they felt very explosive. I was able to get good air. Why do I keep spinning? Good air and uh, be able to explode the way up. I think I'm gonna just sit down and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, and uh, I did two sets of five, one set of six with uh, 345 pounds. And and for accessories, I did uh, 424 deadlifts, the deadlifts of hell, because man, they really challenge your uh, cardiovascular. Yet to basically, for me, it's four seconds. Yet to lift the weight off for four seconds all the way to the top, hold it for two seconds, then go four seconds all the way down. I like hold it for four seconds all the way down, which is if you think about it, you're holding your breath for four seconds up with weight on you. Hold it for two seconds, breathe in again, then hold it four sec four more seconds on the way down, which is if you think about it, is really good for cardiovascular. It makes your body think that you're handling more weight which is in the long run is good for explosiveness. So if you're looking for something to increase your deadlift, you should use the 424 deadlifts, or as I call them, the deadlifts of hell, because those really challenge your central nervous system. They challenge your, how you call it, the way you would kind of grind the weight. I think that's how you would probably grind weight. Uh, usually you, you should do them for three reps three to five reps but five will be kind of challenging because that's basically holding your breath for 50 seconds or to a minute so i do three i probably build myself up to five but i don't think so i'll probably just increase weight over time but uh so far i did i do 225 to play it safe because i do that after my main lift and then after that i did uh squats i did three sets of three with 225 paused i did 225 because uh because after the 424 deadlifts, it was my, it, was, it got really hard to squat, basically. So, yeah, today was a good, today basically was a great workout. I was able to accomplish everything I've, like, I wanted to accomplish and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, I'm on my journey to pull 500 beltless, I'm getting closer and closer, really close. And, uh, with a belt, I want to pull 600, I'm on my road I'm on the way there I'm getting really close I think I could pull 500 something with a belt and without a belt probably 400 uh, 80 460 to 480 I don't know on a good day probably 480 so yeah I've been increasing my deadlift though, and this type of program has been working it overloads and stuff like that overloads my central nervous system and increase it's progressive overload you're increasing the amount of reps instead of the weight you're you're doing both at the same time not only do the rest to gain some mass and size but also to get strong over time which is increase the weight by 10 pounds after you've accomplished four weeks of hard intense grinding work but this program is meant to explode the weight off the ground being able to do it for reps so you could incorporate this many different ways it's been working for me but in the bench press it hasn't been working so much so uh, I've done I changed it up a little bit but on the squat and deadlift it's been really good it's been working really really good I've been progressing on those two lifts and uh, yeah and I hope you guys like this video and if you like this video, <laughs> that was an awkward pause. If you like this video, comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll, got, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.